Robot Makers, do you want to make your own thermal printer that's wireless and that you can print from any device like your phone or your Mac or your PC? Then watch this video. So first of all, we'll have to flash the SD card with the Raspbian operating system. Okay, now that's complete we can load the SD card into our Raspberry Pi Zero. Now there are a couple of different types of Raspberry Pi Zero. I've got two different ones here. So this one here that you can see is the original Raspberry Pi Zero and it doesn't have Wi-Fi. You can see that it's not actually got a little chip round about here, which is a sort of a shiny silver color. This is the version that has Wi-Fi and you can see it's got this little silver chip here. This, all, this version also has the header installed. That means that the pins are already attached. So next up, we need to think about how we're going to put the Raspberry Pi Zero into a project box. We need enough space to put the thermal printer in as well. So the thermal printer requires about 110 centimeters and depth wise about 65. So as long as we've got that kind of space, we can put the printer into the box. Now what I did on this version is I simply cut out the lid um, and then I was able to slot the printer into it. Let me take this one apart and you can have a quick see how this works. You can see that there's a hole and this thermal printer sits in there and there's these two connectors on the side that slide in and you can screw them into place and they push up against the lid holding it quite tight. And then coming out of the, the thermal printer there is two sets of wires. The first set is the serial connections so there's a little white plug that goes just down here. That connects into the Raspberry Pi Zero. And then we need another set of wires that's going to power the thermal printer. We can't power the thermal printer from the Raspberry Pi Zero because it doesn't have enough power. So what I've done is I've, I've basically cheated and I have two sets of wires. I've got one set which is going to the Raspberry Pi Zero. And then I have another connector which is just a USB-A plug. And then I've soldered two wires to that and then that goes to power the thermal printer. The thermal printer can pull at about an amp when it's printing because it's, it's heating up the paper. So it's far too much power than to power the Zero. This Zero I've got in here actually is a first generation similar to this one that I just showed you a second ago. And it doesn't have the Wi-Fi. So what I've actually done in there is just put a dongle with a Wi-Fi, the official Raspberry Pi Wi-Fi connector on it. But if I was to do this again, I could use one that's got the Wi-Fi built in. We could of course print a 3D print uh, an, an enclosure which would be much neater but this is quite a robust box so next we just want to test that the printer is working okay so what we do is we'll hold down the button on the top and then we push in the power and it will print a little test print now if we look at this test print it will actually tell us what the board rate is so that number there the board rate 19200 we'll need to know that shortly okay so now that we've got the board rate and we've tested that the printer is actually working okay as a standalone printer, we need to head over to the Raspberry Pi and do some configuration settings. So let's do that now. So here we are on the Raspberry Pi. The first thing we want to do is we want to change a couple of settings. So head over to preferences and then down to Raspberry Pi configuration. Okay, first thing is I've changed the host name to RPI printer just so that I can find it on the network a lot easier. And then we need to go over to interfaces and make sure that the serial port is enabled, but the serial console is disabled. We don't want any output going to the serial device because we're going to be using that as the printer. So once we've done that, we hit OK and it will ask us to reboot. Make sure you connect it to Wi-Fi as well, just by clicking on this little icon up here and then connecting to your local Wi-Fi. OK, click OK. It'll ask you to reboot and we'll see it over in a couple of seconds. OK, we're back up and running again now. So let's start the terminal. And what we're going to do is we're going to test out using some command lines that we can actually print to the printer using serial. So we're not using any fancy kind of drivers at this point. We're simply just going to type in a few commands. So the first one is STTY space dash capital F 
space forward slash dev forward slash serial zero. And then the serial board rate, which we have from our little piece of paper that we printed out, had the board rate of 19200. So we press that and what that will do is it'll just make sure that we've got the connectivity we need at the right speed setting up that serial device. Next up, we can type a little test message in. We do echo dash E and then in some speech marks, we type in a message. So this is a test and then double forward slash n, double forward slash n, double forward slash n, n speech marks. Then we have a space and then we have the little chevron to pipe that into the serial device. So forward slash dev forward slash serial zero. And what that will do is that will output that piece of text that we've, we've echoed there. This is a test with three new lines into the serial device. When I press return on this terminal here, you'll see almost instantaneously um, it print out the message to here and I'll tear it off and show you. So let's press return and it's printed out a little message. I'm just going to press this button here, which is a, just prints out a bit more paper. So if I now show you this, that it's printed out, it says this is a test. So it's printed out what we expected it to print out. Okay, what we need to do next then is install the common Unix printing system or CUPS. So let's first of all, check if we have any updates required in our system. So sudo app-get update, we run that, it will go on online, connect into the internet and it'll pull in the package update. So we'll know if there's any packages that need updating. Next, what we need to do is install the CUP system itself by using the sudo apt-get install and then the name of the packages. So we have libcups2-dev, libcups-image2-dev, git build-essential, cups, system-config-printer. Well, I've already got these installed on my system, so it probably won't take it very long to install these. Next, what we need to do is download the Adafruit ZJ58 driver. So we do that by doing git and then clone https github.com slash adafruit dash zj dash 58. I've already got this installed so we now do cd and then zj dash 58 and then we do make and make will compile all the different packages uh, and build up the driver. So we, we type make. I've already built this so we can just ignore that for me and then next we do sudo dot slash install and we run that and it will it will stop and start and install all the different drivers and packages that we've just configured. So we've now got a new preference, which is our print settings preference. So what we'll need to do once that opens up is add a new printer. Okay, so we've opened up the print dialog box. I'm now gonna click on add to add a new printer. Okay, and what we do, we, we type in the URI. So we do serial colon slash dev slash serial zero and then we do a question mark and then we type board equals 19200 so let's just hit return then forward so it says searching for drivers okay next up what we need to do is select print from database so right at the very bottom we have this zhang i don't know if i can pronounce it and then we click forward on there and then the zj58 is the printer that we want so let's click forward again we can now give this a name if we want let's keep the name the same i'm happy with that and it's in the robot lab apply would i like to print a test page okay let's Let's print a test page and see what happens. Let's go back over to here for a second and see what the test page looks like. So I'm going to click OK. I can see up here. So in the taskbar at the top there, we've got a little printer icon and I can see there that it says it's printing and processing. And we can see there there's a little test page just printing out as well. It's very small. Obviously not really designed for a thermal printer, but you can see there it's printed out some stuff. OK. Okay, so what we need to do next is just check that the line printer is working. So what I've just tested as well, um, I hadn't set this as the default printer. So if you right click in your little print settings, so set as default means that this is the default printer for the line printer as well. So let's open up a, a console. This is a test. And then I'm gonna pipe that using the pipe command into LP. LP is our line printer. So if I press that, it'll create a job and then a couple of seconds later, so it's not as instantaneous as printing directly to the serial port, but I can now see that we have, if I just give this a, a line feed, we have a little message there that says this is a test. You can just about read that there. Okay, so what we can now do is we can print out a bitmap image. So I've got the command ready to go here. So it's LP for line print, space, dash zero for output, and then we have fit dash two dash page and that will make the image fit to the page size available. And then the path to the image, and this is on all Raspberry Pis, is forward slash user, forward slash share, forward slash Raspberry Pi dash artwork, and then Raspberry dash Pi dash logo dot PNG. So if we press return on that, it's now printing out a nice bitmap image. As you can see there, this is the Raspberry Pi logo. So it's a little bit slow to print on bitmap images because there's a lot of data going over quite a slow board rate, but there we go.
Raspberry Pi image. And there, the, this is a test. Okay, so let's try and see if we can see this on our local area network. So if I go to my phone and I'm just gonna open up the Notes app and let's just type a little message in, Hey Robot Makers. So I've got that on my phone there, Hey Robot Makers. And what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna click on the little dot, 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 share the note, send a copy, which brings up the share sheet. Then there's a little print option I can press. So I press on that. So I can now see my phone, there is a ZJ58 printer. If I click on that and it says preparing, and it says it now printing, so let's try that. Hey Robot Makers, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was how to make a thermal printer and share it on a network using a Raspberry Pi Zero. And you can hear my dogs at the door there as well. <laughs> See you later.